Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission showcase. We have an absolute treat for you today and one of my favorite things that we do here at Siege. Custom Service is our character creation brand and we have two phenomenal models that we have had the pleasure of working on for our client. It's always great to bring to life models that our clients think of from their own narrative for their force or from their favorite book or artwork or anything like that. And uh, these two do definitely demonstrate. We have no other than Thanquil and Bone Ripper some of the most infamous characters from the Skaven Warhammer Fantasy range. Um, and they've been worked on by two team members of the, uh, for here from Siege, one from Custom Service and one from our painting team. Uh, Sai from our uh, Custom Service team created and converted and, and sculpted the two characters. And you're gonna see shots of them uh, through this video where they are perhaps gray and green or perhaps painted. So you'll see the work that does really go into, into Custom Service models. And then uh, obviously they were painted by Eric, one of our team members from the painting team, who's done a phenomenal job in translating in all the backstory and information that you're used to in the Black Library novels onto these two amazing models. So let's jump in and let's have a look. We're going to start with Thankful first. Really, really great uh, pose from the get-go, just like very leading, commanding kind of pose. Um, I absolutely love some of the details that have been put on this model, specifically the little rat coming out of the pipe on the, on the bottom that he's just perched on as well. I think that's lovely. I really do like the muted palette on these. Uh, so like the desaturated, almost cool kind of um, bluish kind of white cloak, gray cloak that he's got. I think that really sort of contrasts nicely against the red collar part of the of the robes that he's wearing. Um, you've got the metallic faceplate as well, which is just really lovely executed with some sort of weathering and little bits of detritus and things on there. Obviously being Skaven, they're not going to have, you know, they're not going to go to the party in their best gear. They're going to have a bit of, bit of weathering and damage and stuff on, on their equipment and clothing and, and things. And this is a really good example of that and what Eric's done with the painting. Um, the little use of the, the subtle use of verdigris, like on the copper piping and stuff, is just a really nice little detail, which I think just, just adds interest to that area of the model which I really like. The colour transition on, on his tail as well, again you could, it could simply be done one colour but I think by all the colours and things that we put into it it just really adds a lot of interest to that specific part of the model and, and just draws the eye to that. Um, I do like the uh, the staff as well, I think the work that has gone into the staff to create it and also paint it has, has been very very good. The the wooden haft as well with all those intricate little bits of, of line work done on the, on the grain on the wood is just really lovely also. Um, the skin tone on the model, again really really muted, uh, I think it's really nice and pale and again just, just doesn't take away too much from the model but also just works with the overall palette and uh, and the sword as well like a lot of the metallic areas i mentioned already with the faceplate having a lot of weathering and scratching and detritus on it just to show that it is this older weapon or this not so cared for weapon as well which is just great um cheeky little skull on the base you can't have a, a warhammer fantasy or 40k model without a skull on the base he's got a cheeky little skull there hiding in between a couple of the folds of his uh, of his cloak or tabard there as well um, but again really really lovely model my favorite little detail has to be actually his eye i think that what eric's done with painting it that kind of rubyish purple kind of color just framed by a bit of skin and that metal face plate just really draws draws your eye to his eye which is quite a quite a saying in itself but um but just really works as a, as a little detail and adds a little bit of a saturated sort of uh, purpley pink to, to the, the overall sort of palette on the model that's thank you all. let's jump in and have a look at his uh, all the muscles um, he's definitely thankful is obviously all the brains so we've got bone ripper here that's obviously all the muscles um, and if you're unfamiliar with bone ripper he is a, this dastardly creation that um that has had numerous numerous versions this is the the, the i suppose thank was current version of bone ripper um, but an amalgamation of uh, a rat ogre and then obviously lots of mechanical parts as well which is just awesome i love the pose and where he's just got his foot on the wall i think it's just really looming like he's about to attack someone i think it's a great little bit of, of uh, sort of like posing for him um he's got his arm cannon as well that you can see here and again all the casing and everything with lots of weathering the subtle kind of tonal variance on the actual almost like trumpet part at the end is quite cool with the blackening wear from all the shots that where it's fired um you've got a, a nice amount of tonal variance in the flesh uh, on bone ripper as well which i really do like and you've got all these different sort of reddish and brownish tones up to lighter sort of tones where the light is catching or the, the skin is stretched quite a lot there's a lot of mechanical stuff underneath the skin as i'm sure you'd appreciate so you've got that all the stitches as well which are really really cool and again, Sai from the custom service team has done a great job of just adding little bits and bobs onto this to, to really sort of tailor it to how our client uh, wanted Bone Ripper to look uh, as well, which I think is just lovely. Again, absolutely love the, the use of the, the cooler colours on the skull as well to take to contrast to the warmer tones on the flesh, which I think is quite nice. Subtle use of verdigris as well, just here on the copper casing on the, on the actual gun as well, which is just a nice use of, of a splash colour. Uh, and overall, just to talk about the basin, we've got a really nice, almost like, uh, like a village kind of like Arctic tundra 
like kind of a thing with the wall there of a house or something. Uh, and then we've got some scattering of snow and obviously some really saturated kind of tufts as well, just to contrast a bit more of a desaturated base. Uh, but overall, really, really awesome, awesome uh, work that it's both members of the team here at Siege have done on these two characters. Um, really do absolutely love seeing characters brought to life for our clients. And uh, these are a perfect example of what you can have done with custom service here at Siege. Now, if you're interested in a commission, be it for a character or be it for your own bespoke one-off uh, character through custom service here at Siege, do not hesitate to get in touch with us through the contact form found in the description of this video. You've also got a link to our website there that's got links to our galleries and all the different areas of the site so you can see the different work that we undertake. And if you are interested in a commission, drop us an inquiry form in and we'll get back to you with a quote for your specific tailored uh, requirements. Um, while you're watching us here on YouTube, do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel it really helps us and if you do hit that bell icon you'll be notified when new videos do go up showcases like this and other things that we have on the channel you'll get notified when they do go up on the channel so hope you can enjoy watching those uh, let us know what your favorite uh, history or details are from the fan court or bone ripper if you've read the books let us know it'd be also great to see what you guys think of these two cheeky characters um, and, I, and from all the team here at myself a massive thank you for watching the video we really do appreciate it and i'll see you very soon on the next one take care Bit jumpy on that one, sorry. Right. No, that's right. You're done actually, I need to do B roll with you.